Hello, and thank you for tuning into this week's Mayor's Update. As always, we have a lot of important information to share with you here this week, so please feel free to share this video with your friends, family, relatives, and anyone else you think might find this information helpful over the course of the coming week. Uh, it's hard to believe that we're less than a week left in April, uh, and with the month of May approaching, we'll start to see some warmer temperatures and have a lot more outdoor activities. So we want to remind people to get out and enjoy the many different amenities that we have here in Gardner. The bike trail, Dunn Park, our different parks and playgrounds, the walking trails that we have out there. It's really something that I think is going to be a very, you know, it's, it's a draw for people to the city, uh, but there's also some additions that we're working on adding uh, to our uh, recreational amenities around the city. Uh, the DPW is about three pins in so far into our brand new disc golf course. Uh, so Frisbee golf that's taking place over at Bailey Brook Park off of Leo Drive. Uh, so that is taking shape there now. It's already got a couple pins in like I said so I want to thank our uh, municipal grounds crew for really getting that out and running uh, to, so we could have another new recreational amenity here in Gardner. Uh, that we also want to address uh, that in the recent windstorm that we had, a tree fell on the brand new $75,000 playground equipment that we had over at Ovala Case Playground. We have filed a claim with the city's insurance company, uh, and that hopefully should be addressed by the time summer comes around. We hope because we're on the insurance company's timeline, uh, but it is something that's on our radar to try to fix as quickly as we can once those claims all go through as a result of the damage that was sustained at that storm. However, even with uh, that damage that's there. There's still plenty of things to do around the city and all of our different parks, playgrounds, trails, and things like that. So please uh, consider getting out and seeing something new in the city now that the weather's getting a little warmer. Uh, just a reminder that we're looking for sponsors still for the city's flower pot and banner program. So if you're interested in sponsoring a banner on one of our light posts in the downtown area, uh, for $200 you can get a banner for the remainder, uh, for the full calendar year. Uh, and we go from May to May. So it is a full 12 month period. Uh, and you can choose which category of the banner you'd like to have yours on, whether it's work, uh, live, shop, eat, or play. Uh, additionally, we have the flower pot sponsorships that are also still available for a cost of $200 per flower pot. Uh, those will be out from May until September with one planting and then from September through Thanksgiving with a planting of mums. Uh, so if you're interested in sponsoring those to bring some life to the downtown area, that's also a great way to do that. And I want to thank Councillor Judy Mack for spearheading the flower pot program and Amber Labonte, our City Economic Development Coordinator, uh, for spearheading the banner program. If for more information or to sponsor any of those programs, you can contact the mayor's office here or you can contact Amber directly in the city's community development department. This week is National Small Business Week recognized nationwide from April 28th through May 4th. Uh, please be sure to support your local businesses, uh, especially the ones that we have here in Gardner who have a wide array of services and products to satisfy anyone's needs. Uh, so if you're looking to get out and see some of the new businesses that have opened here or expanded here, we've opened more than 50 new businesses and there were expanded businesses here in Gardner in just the last three years alone. Uh, we've got plenty adding to the list this year. Uh, so be treat, just see if there's a business you haven't heard of yet and try to go out and see if you find something you like at one of those uh, spots. You'd be amazed what we have here in Gardner now. We want to remind parents of school-aged children that the City of Gardner Recreation Department is now accepting registrations for the 2024 summer program. More information on this wildly popular event can be found on the Rec Department's Facebook page or by contacting our City's Recreation Director, Daniel Fort, at 978-632-1600. Uh, this is something that we've had such a big boost in students who are registered for the program that we actually have uh, added additional staff this year to accommodate those larger uh, you know, group uh, population of students that want to participate. So uh, kudos to our recreation director, athletic director, Dan Fort, and all of the counselors for that program year in and year out. It's always been one of our uh, very successful programs. Uh, May 4th will be the Keep Gardener Beautiful Litter Cleanup and Nip Hunt fundraiser. This is something we do annually. Uh, also on May 4th, our local library will be having John Headley, who will present an introduction to beekeeping. Uh, you'll learn the basics for beekeeping and the importance of bees. And for more information, you can visit the Levi Haywood Memorial Library website or call 978-632-5298. On May 16th at 7 p.m., the AED Foundation is having their Recovery Comedy Night in Perry Auditorium at Gardner City Hall. Uh, in, uh, you, the access for that can be accessed via the Knowlton Street parking lot. Admission is $20 per person, and we recommend getting your tickets ahead of time, but they will be available at the door. Uh, coming soon to City Hall, the annual Light the Town Purple event. 
uh, that's very you know popular every year to kick off the last month push before the Relay for Life takes place is going to take place on the front steps of Gardner City Hall on May 6th at 6.30 p.m., again on the front steps of Gardner City Hall here at 95 Pleasant Street. Uh, the Gardner Relay for Life, the Greater Gardner Relay for Life will take place on June 7th and 8th at the Mount Wachusa Community College campus and is one of the largest relays in the United States. Uh, so we're lucky to have that here. So again, we'll be kicking off the last push towards that final event on June 7th with the Light the Town Purple event on May 6th at 6.30. The Gardner Municipal Golf Course is now open. Gardner's fortunate to have such a beautiful course. And we want to give a shout out to the crew that does such a great job at keeping the course looking good and uh, really as good as it is with the unpredictable uh, weather that we've been having lately from the warm weather to the snow to the rain and everything else that we've been having. Uh, so to Bill Frank, our city's uh, golf course superintendent and everyone who works at the golf department, uh, thank you very much for your commitment to the city and our golf course. For those of you who are new to Gardner, uh, the course is located at 152 Eaton Street. Daily rates for weekdays for nine holes is $20 and 18 holes $37. Weekend rates for nine holes are $24 and 18 holes $42. And the uh, rates are for walking and carts require an additional charge on top of that. Memberships are also open at this time for applications. Happening in neighboring Westminster, uh, the town will be hosting the Heroes Live Forever Benefit and Run. Uh, this is an event that's being done in memory of Templeton EMT Tracy Ferraza. Uh, the benefit is on May 31st from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. at Wachusett Brewing Company. The run takes place on October 5th from 10 a.m. to noon, also at Wachusett Brewing Company. Uh, they have social media events and a community calendars uh, event has been put on the city's website for more information on that run. Uh, EMT Ferraza worked for the Templeton Fire Department uh, and was killed in a car accident over by the PACC a couple years ago. Uh, so this event is being put on by her family in her memory. Uh, so we want to, you know, just make sure that everyone in this community knows about that too, because if there's one thing about the North Central Massachusetts region is that uh, when, you know, tragedy strike, we've all come together and supported each other. And that's what an event like this is exactly for. The Greater Gardner Community Choir is presenting their spring concert, A Journey of Life, on Sunday, May 19th at 3 p.m. at Bethany Baptist Church. There is a suggested donation of $15 per person, and seniors and children have a suggested donation of $10 per person. And again, that'll take place on Sunday, May 19th at 3 p.m. at Bethany Baptist Church. This coming week on May 2nd, at noon, so 12 p.m., Higher Ground Ministries is hosting our annual uh, National Day of Prayer event over at their uh, sanctuary at Higher Ground Ministries. Uh, this is an event that's actually nationally recognized and declared by Congress. Uh, it was first declared uh, uh, by a presidential proclamation by President uh, Abraham Lincoln following an example that George Washington set by calling for a National Day of Prayer when he was the uh, commanding general of the Continental Army in the American Revolution. Uh, President Lincoln then reaffirmed this during the Civil War and then in the 1980s President Ronald Reagan uh, put forward a bill that Congress adopted and was signed into law to declare the first Thursday of May uh, every year as the United States National Day of Prayer. Uh, so the different clergy from around the Greater Gardner area will be coming together for that event at that day and again that'll take place at 12 noon at Higher Ground Ministries located at, on uh, Central Street next to Monument Park. And then lastly just to make sure everyone has a heads up this coming Monday, April 29th, work will begin again. Actual construction work will begin again at the Uptown Rotary at the intersection of Pearl Street, Elm Street, Central Street, Woodland Avenue, and Green Street. Uh, there will be traffic details, uh, detours put up beginning this Monday because there's actual construction trucks that will be actively digging into the streets to work on that rotary from the Massachusetts Department of Transportation. Uh, right now it looks like traffic will be diverted down Cherry Street uh, from Pearl Street into Central Street. Uh, however, again, those are subject to change because it all depends on how the construction schedule goes and it's not the city who's doing this project, it's the state's Department of Transportation. So while we can try to communicate as much as we can, there's always things that are subject to change. So if you drive through the Uptown Rotary, uh, we want to make sure you have that extra buffer that's there for your commute to make sure you know that you're probably gonna have to take a little more time to get around that area. We have been assured by the Massachusetts Department of Transportation that there will always be a route open to get to the hospital. Uh, so no matter what, emergency services will always have a way to get to the hospital. However, again, for regular vehicular traffic in that area, you're probably gonna have to add a little bit of time there because that work is going to begin now and we expect that project to be done by sometime in the November timeframe. 
That concludes this week's Mayor's Update. As always, if you have any questions on anything that was said at all, please feel free to contact my office at any time, and we'll be happy to get you any information you're looking for. Thank you very much, and have a great day.